Chapter 2 Galloping Bull This chapter is updated by Novels P.L. Wang Du carried Liu Yan Yan back to the inner room and couldn't wait to tear her clothes. It had to be said that this woman's figure was really too hot, causing Wang Du's entire body to burn with evil flames. However, just as he was about to take action, the door of the inner room was fiercely kicked open. The fool Kin Yan, who had been beaten down by him earlier, was glaring at him angrily. Wang Du was suddenly shocked. He always felt that this fool was a little different from before. At this moment, he actually felt an icy cold killing intent from Kin Yun's eyes, and this killing intent actually made him feel fear in his heart. Illusion, it must be an illusion. Why would I be afraid of a fool? Wang Du was embarrassed and angry. He immediately shouted at Kin Yun, little bastard get lost. Don't tell me that I didn't beat up enough just now. Yana, seeing Kin Yan rushing in, Liu Yan Yan was also shocked. Earlier, Kin Yan was beaten to the ground by Wang Du and kept twitching. She was still very worried, but now that Kin Yan was safe and sound, she heaved a sigh of relief. However, she knew that Kin Yan's rushing in would definitely ruin Wang Du's good fortune. According to Wang Du's character, he would definitely beat Kin Yan up again. This was something she did not want to see very much, so she hurriedly shouted at Kin Yan, Yana, leave quickly, don't come in. Kin Yan looked at Liu Yan Yan's worried eyes and his heart instantly warmed. However, when he saw that the clothes on Liu Yan Yan's body had already been torn to pieces by Wang Du, a strong anger erupted in his eyes. His gaze towards Wang Du was already filled with killing intent. Yo, if I let you go, you still won't leave. Do you want to get beaten up? Wang Du shouted angrily, and then he waved his sleeve and walked towards Kin Yan. The fool in front of him's eyes made him very unhappy. He had to teach him a lesson today. Yana, run. Liu Yan Yan hurriedly shouted at him. However, Kin Yan did not seem to have heard it and stood at the door in a daze. Wang Du walked in front of Kin Yan with a sinister smile on his face. He wanted this fool to know what fear was. Ha ha, fool, go to hell. Wang Du laughed loudly and directly punched Kin Yan's head. However, the fool on the other side still stared at him, indifferent to his fist. Isn't this courting death? Since you want to die. Then I will fulfill your wish. The smile on Wang Du's face became even more ferocious. This punch unreservedly smashed towards Kin Yun's head. Seeing Wang Du attack, Liu Yan Yun was immediately scared out of her wits. He desperately rushed towards Wang Du, wanting to hug Wang Du's arm and stop this punch. However, Wang Du's punch was so swift that Liu Yan Yun had no time to stop it. Seeing that this ferocious punch was about to hit Kin Yun's head. At this critical moment, Kin Yun actually moved. Kin Yun tilted his body slightly and skillfully dodged Wang Du's punch, which was as heavy as a thousand June. A. Eh? Wang Du missed the attack and was somewhat shocked. He hurriedly withdrew his hand, wanting to launch another attack. However, how could Kin Yun give him the chance to attack again? Taking advantage of the fact that Wang Du landed in the air, his body was unstable. Kin Yun pulled out the kitchen knife he had prepared from behind him like lightning and mercilessly chopped at Wang Du's neck. Kin Yun was not a reckless person. On the contrary, the angrier he was, the calmer his heart became. This was the lesson that had been left to him by that incident back then. Wang Du had already reached the first heaven of martial arts, although he had extremely rich combat experience. His current body did not have a single trace of cultivation. How could he be Wang Du's opponent? Therefore, he had to let Wang Du underestimate his enemy, think that he was an idiot, and then seize the opportunity to give him a fatal blow. Puchi, the knife pierced into his body and blood splashed out. Yu Yu. Wang Du's eyes widened in disbelief as he looked at the fool holding the kitchen knife in front of him. However, he could only vent his anger without breathing in. He opened his mouth wide and was speechless. Only at this moment did he know that the fool in front of him was no longer the fool he had trampled on before. But by the time he figured it out, it was already too late. Wang Du's corpse fell, and he died in grief. You shouldn't have had any evil thoughts about my sister. Kin Yun said word by word, looking at the corpse on the ground with eyes as cold as water. Liu Yan Yan was dumbfounded as she watched this extremely flipping scene. She was completely stunned. A moment ago, she thought that Kin Yun would be injured by Wang Du, but the next second, she saw Kin Yun slash Wang Du to death, 
which made her head unable to turn. Pu Tong, with a sound, Gin Yun suddenly knelt in front of Liu Yan Yun. Looking at Liu Yan Yun who was already stunned, he used all of his strength to cry out, Sister. When Liu Yan Yun heard this, her entire body trembled. Looking at her younger brother who had knelt in front of her and spent six years with her, her eyes instantly turned red and she covered her mouth and sobbed. At this moment, Kin Yun's eyes were incomparably clear. This was a gaze that she had never seen before. You what did you call me just now? Liu Yan Yun asked excitedly. She stretched out her trembling hands, wanting to touch Kin Yun's cheek, but she shrank back as if she was electrocuted. She was afraid that if she touched it, she would discover that everything was a dream. Sister, I regained consciousness. I remember who I am. You took care of me for six years, so you are my sister. Gin Yun also shed tears in excitement. This unrelated woman in front of her was only 14 years old when she adopted him, but she had raised him with her hands for six whole years. Yana, sister, isn't this a dream? Sister, I'm not dreaming, I'm your Yana. Liu Yan Yun hugged Kin Yun with all her might. Her face was full of tears and smiles. She was indescribably excited. She looked forward to this day. She did not know how long she had been waiting for it. When Kin Yun called her sister, she felt that all the bitterness of these years was worth it. Kin Yun snuggled up in Liu Yan Yun's embrace. A warmth that he had not seen for a long time instantly flowed through Kin Yun's entire body, melting the ice in the deepest part of Kin Yun's body. At this moment, Kin Yun swore that he would never let this woman suffer any harm in the future. He wanted to protect her for the rest of her life. Just like that, Kin Yun and his siblings, who weren't related by blood, hugged each other for a long time before they separated. After that, Liu Yan Yun directly closed the tavern and made Kin Yun his favorite braised pork to celebrate his rebirth. As for Wang Du's corpse, Kin Yun took advantage of the night to drag it into the wilderness and bury it. Of course, he knew that this would be discovered sooner or later, and once it was discovered, they would be greeted by a calamity of annihilation. After dinner, Kin Yun chatted with Liu Yan Yun until late at night. Only then did he suppress the excitement in his heart and went to the backyard alone. Kin Yun looked at the stars in the sky, and a complicated emotion surged in his heart. Behind the starry sky was the immortal dimension, and there was a colossus, the great Kin Immortal Dynasty which ruled the entire immortal dimension. That was his past home. Home? Kin Yun revealed a mocking smile. His real home was here, this misty cloud tavern. And there was only hypocrisy, coldness, and ugliness in that family. Everyone wore a mask. Beneath the mask, there was a ferocious face with fangs. There was no family affection to speak of. Perhaps it was high above and had boundless power, ruling over the entire immortal domain. But in Kin Yun's eyes, it was a huge ice-cold hell, the only mother who had given her heart to him had been banished from the eternal abyss by his ruthless father and tortured. Thinking of this, Kin Yun's heart surged with a monstrous hostility. Dear Kin Immortal Dynasty, there is no need for you to exist. Since you have already decayed, then let me personally destroy you. At this moment, Kin Yun swore a blood oath. He wanted to completely annihilate the great Kin immortal dynasty that had stood for hundreds of thousands of years on his own. To make those who had taken everything from him pay the price of blood. Let those people of the immortal dimension who are lofty and hideous in their hearts fall into hell forever. From today onwards, I, Kin Yun, will start cultivating again. So what if I lose the chaos immortal bone? When I step into the immortal world again, it will be the destruction of your great kin immortal dynasty. Kin Yun clenched his fists and his eyes were filled with intense fighting intent. At this moment, the blood of his inner battle was completely ignited, and his fighting spirit was filled with rage. He wanted to let the world know that everything he owed Kin Yun had to be returned. He wanted to return this world with slaughter. 